Welcome to the Grab the Map podcast, where we don't just look at it, we grab the map. I'm John Crutchfield, and I'm excited to talk to you today. If you can't tell, we've got a YouTube channel, we've got a podcast. You can email me at grabthemap at gmail.com, and you can go out to my website at grabthemapllc.com. I'd love to have you in my community as a member of our community. It's really a great place with people that are grinding. We're out here doing deals. We're doing education. We're sharing. We're reaching back. But we're also actively doing deals. If you're doing deals and you want to be around people that are that are buying property, fixing it up, renting it out, flipping it, wholesaling it, come talk to Grab the Map. This is our community and I'm excited about it. Yep, I voted, guys. I voted, and I want you to vote, too. It's that time of year in the United States, if you're listening here. Figure out how you can vote in your community. Make sure your voice is heard. And today, we're going to talk about 10 things I did wrong in my real estate business when I get started. 10 things I did wrong. Maybe if I tell you these things, you won't do the same things. Number one, I didn't keep good books from the beginning. Yeah. This is something that you need to correct. You need to keep good books from the very beginning of your business. What I mean by good books is you need to account for every cent that moves hands in and out of your business. You need to keep accurate records and you need to have a system in place from the very beginning. I know some people think, oh, I'm just getting started. There's a lot of money that starts to change hands and you will get it fixed after the fact. Getting it fixed after the fact has cost me thousands of dollars. Okay, you want to have your books correct from the very beginning. That was the first thing. I know you can fix it. Figure out, get a good CPA, talk to older landlords, figure out how they keep their books, talk to new landlords, figure out how they're keeping their books. You can do it. You can keep accurate books from the very beginning, and I promise you, it'll save you tons of money, tons of headaches. Number two, I um, didn't take a profit first. There's a great book called Profit First. It's around here somewhere. Um, Take a profit. Even if you're profiting 100 bucks, 200 bucks, if you're profiting um, a little bit, find that book, get on Amazon, and take a profit every single month in this business. Taking a profit allows you to see real returns on all of your effort in business. It allows you to also save a pool of money so that when things get hard or things get tough, you have been keeping money, okay? Take a profit. I didn't take a profit in the beginning. I invested everything back in my business, and I didn't see my personal accounts going up. I didn't see the result. Um, But when I started pulling money here and pulling money there first, before I took care of everybody else, I started to realize that I was benefiting financially as well and that I could also go out and get more because um, the way that the book teaches us to manage our things is just really, really foundational for our business. So I really want you to take a profit first because I didn't do that in the beginning. Remember, we're talking about 10 things that I did wrong. All right. I really thought in the beginning that I could handle all of the details myself. Okay. The very beginning, I thought I could handle all the details myself. And um, like most people, when you start your business, you start, you know, bootstrapping it together with what you have. You don't feel like you have money to hire help. Um, But in the beginning, that's what I did. I grinded. I was on the ground. I was doing everything myself, fixing the electrical outlets and, and fixing the ceiling fans and laying down the flooring on bad knee pads because I bought cheap knee pads and lows. And doing all these things sometimes that you do have to do to get started. But I want you to quickly remember, you do not have to do it all yourself. And the details may be helped, may help you a lot if you get somebody that can help you uh, manage the details. Number four, I destroyed good friendships over money. Yeah, we get real in this in this group. I did that wrong. There are some people that I was excited to meet we started to develop real good friendships and become friends, and we lost it over money. And it was my choice. It was my decision. It was me grinding, chasing deals, and me not thinking long term. And so in a couple of cases, I got the deal, and I lost a friend. And I did that wrong. Think long term with your relationships. 
Don't argue about money. Certainly, don't get so greedy that you lose friendships over money because I admit that I did that. Number five, I hire contractors with no references. Absolutely, that is not right. Find out who they've worked for recently and what they've done and if that person is still happy with them. It saved me so much money since, but at the beginning I went on Craigslist and Facebook and I went in Lowe's and just looked for random people. Now I still do some of that, but I get references. And if they don't have any references, they've got to go work for somebody else and come back to me once they've got four or five people that are happy with their work. Okay? Um, that's what I did wrong. You can change that for yourself. I try to do things on the cheap all the time to save money. Right? Sometimes you get what you pay for. All right? And so every now and then, you might find somebody who's really cheap and they do a great job. But most of the time, if you find somebody who's really cheap, you get a really cheap job. Okay, and at the beginning, I didn't understand that. I was trying to cut every corner I could so that I could grow my business, but didn't realize that at the same time that I was cutting corners and being cheap, I was also going to have to go back and pay again to have the same work done again. And that's not something you want to have happen. Go ahead and find somebody with good references. Find somebody that you can afford, but find somebody that has good references Pay them what they need to be paid to do great work, um, and, and you'll have a much better experience. Number seven, I thought being humble and not sharing what I was doing was smart. Uh, that's something I did wrong. You've got to tell people what you're doing. It grows your business so much faster. These days, I don't do hardly any marketing. I guess this is marketing, right? But I hardly ever mail a letter. Maybe we make some cold calls today. these days. But most of the time right now, people bring me deals. People tell me, hey, I've got a house. I've got something that I think is would be worth you looking at. They call Grab the Map, 662-732-2066. Uh, yeah, it's out there. Call us. They tell us it's a good deal. And we go look at it. We have an appointment. We make offers. Um, we get deals submitted to our website at grabthemapllc.com. People tell us about multifamily projects that are over 24 units in their market. People tell us about packages of homes that are over 20 units in their market. And we get excited about it. And we go make offers on that stuff and we buy them. Sometimes we buy them. And I um, only began to get people coming to me with stuff when I realized that you actually have to tell people what you're doing in this business. Okay? You have to post it on social media. You have to tell people what you're up to. And that's what I do now, but I didn't do that at the beginning. Number eight, I thought my credit wasn't important. Yeah, I thought it wasn't important. Your credit is so important as a real estate investor that you've got to start getting it right from right now. You've got to pay on time for stuff. You've got to know what your credit score is and you've got to know what affects your credit score. Get an education about your credit. Maybe we'll do a podcast on that or, or YouTube on that one day. You've got to improve your credit because improving your credit is going to allow you to borrow money. It's going to allow people to see you as credible. And you want to be credible because you can leverage uh, other people's money to grow so much faster. I've had people check my credit before they even accepted offers for me. And when I say check it, I mean they might just want a screenshot of a credit score. And that gave me some credibility with sellers when I do seller finance deals. Okay. All right. Number nine, I partnered with the wrong person. This is absolutely true. Very beginning of my business, I did a partnership with somebody who was very, very different in their mindset from me. They had very different goals. They had very different personality types. And uh, it was a mistake. I, I realized it was a mistake. And you don't want to partner with the wrong person. Partnerships can be fantastic if you set, spell out the rules right, spell, spell, spell out the rules correctly. But if you do not spell out things right, partnerships can really be frustrating. And I partnered with one guy um, that I regret partnering with uh, to this day. And I've probably been a bad partner before as well. So make sure that before you partner up with people that you have an energy, that you have a synergy, and that you can do what you're supposed to do to meet your obligations. Okay? All right, number 10 and the last one here, I didn't focus on over-delivering to my customers. Grant Cardone says, over-promise and over-deliver. And I didn't focus on that. These days, 
I like to tell you what I'm going to do and I like to do even better than I told you. Okay. Over promise and over deliver and people will come back. People will do more business with you. Don't shortchange people. I've made some mistakes lately. I'll talk about those next week. But in this podcast, I want to remind you that people are expecting your very best and you can deliver even better than that. I didn't do that at the beginning, but now I do. This is the Grab the Map podcast where we don't just look at the world. We don't just look at opportunities. We don't just talk about people that are making money. We grab the map.